often we create lists within SharePoint or of course directly within SharePoint itself as you can see different lists that are created here and how do we delete those first of all archive the data and then delete those uh, from our list from our I use the word list too often from our uh, grouping of SharePoint lists so stay tuned we're going to jump right to that so remember in lists the program Microsoft lists it displays your SharePoint lists. And today we're gonna to work on this data test here that I just created for this video. Also within lists, if I click on here, for example, now I can see that it's inside of my personal SharePoint site. If I click on personal SharePoint site, it's gonna take me right to my personal SharePoint site. And then if you go down through here, date test is right there so you can see here notice one notice one so how do we delete this list well as you notice here within lists it doesn't exist but we need to do something first before we delete it we need to export the data so that we can archive it as an excel spreadsheet because you never know when you might need that data again and if we export it in its format as you see here then we can use it again. I always export to CSV. I've just found it to be easier to use. So we're gonna do that. You can export to Excel as well. But let's just export to CSV. And here you're just gonna pick a location for that and we're just gonna name it Date Test Archive. Hold on. And we're just gonna hit save. Let's move that down here. So we can just hit save. Now all of that data has been extracted. We're going to say show in folder. And we're going to go into that area. Whoops, wrong folder. There we go. And there it is right there. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. Now once we open this up, we're going to be able to see that all of our data is there. And there it is right there. Okay, so we can then save this, which is the best way to do it, I think. Save it, we can keep it as delimited or convert it into an Excel workbook and hit save and now we're good to go. So that's how, that's the first step. We need to archive the data. So now we're done archiving, how do we delete this? If you notice here, there's not really any place to delete. To do that, we need to go over to the uh, SharePoint site and you click on the SharePoint site name right there, personal, and it's gonna take you right over there. Now, you could have also just navigated to this location, but here, we're right here. Now, if we click on date test, notice again, no options. So we have to go down right here to site content. Now with the site contents, we can look for that specific list and you can see it right there, date test. If we click on it just to be sure, yep, that's the one. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna go back. We just hit the back key, I'm sorry. We just hit the back key on our browser. And here we're gonna go to date test and we're just gonna hit delete, delete. And yes, we want to delete that information. And then um, we can go back to that list. Go back to lists here. Do a refresh on those lists. Notice date test is still there. Now when we go in there, it's, it's no longer available. So the way we kind of take care of that is we just go down here to the ellipsis here and say, remove from recent lists and we're just going to say remove now we're good to go so i know there's a few steps there but that's how you delete a list and um, remember you can do it directly from sharepoint as well and then just go over and uh, delete but try to archive that data so that you can have it for future use